Um, I wanted to maybe just spend a couple of minutes on why the company was formed and what we're going after and where we come from. Um, so Illumio was basically built around one core central problem that most people in our industry have seen over the last couple of years. And that is, if you look at the security issues that people in data centers and public cloud face, um, there's an inversion between um, networking traffic and coverage from a security point of view. So 20% of the traffic um, egresses and in ingresses to the data center, and 80% of it actually moves laterally within the data center or between clouds and data centers. Um, so we're putting 95% of our investment from a security point of view on 20% of the possible attack surface. And if you look at how threats have emerged in this environment, um, most of them are not really people kind of banging down the good technologies that people have built at the perimeter. They come from insiders. So that was the core base for uh, the space we're going after. And then the second core basis is that most of the technologies that have built, been built around infrastructure, meaning networking and hypervisor, and I'm a 25-year veteran of uh, security and networking technologies in that space, um, they are very dependent on actually owning and managing all of the infrastructure. This is a challenge as things become more dynamic and more distributed. So the growth of Amazon, the shift from bare metal to virtual machine to containers have presented a lot of challenges as, as size and complexity. So that's the, uh, the problem set that we went after. I'll talk a little bit about the company. Um, we have a very simple mission, which is effectively to provide the visibility and the control of communications of applications within data centers and clouds and across them. That's what we do. Uh, we have a bunch of tools and technologies. We'll share that with you. But our focus is on reducing attack surface, making those applications less vulnerable from a communications point of view. Um, to build our company, interestingly, we had to go to a lot of disciplines. Uh, so I mentioned many of us have had a lot of experience in the networking industry. I did two tours at Cisco. I worked at a company called Nasira that VMware bought, and I, I built a company with Matt uh, called Airspace at Cisco. But I'm sorry, VMware was purchased at Nasira, if I said that wrong. Um, uh, and so we do have that kind of DNA. PJ comes from much more of the deep security background. He was at Funk Software in Boston and then Juniper. But the DNA of our company is, comes from a lot of different areas, which really reflect the nature of distributed systems. So we have people with deep backgrounds in analytics, uh, deep backgrounds in, uh, in visibility and in distributed systems and IT operations. And what's interesting for Illumio and also a challenge is that we don't have a traditional buying center. We don't, we're not a pin replacement for a firewall. We're not like a McAfee or a Symantec um, host-based uh, uh, solution or endpoint solution. So it's a much different space that we've come to. What we have tried to do is allow people to operate their computing the way they choose to do it, and it's going to be very heterogeneous, and provide a system that is abstracted from the infrastructure to provide these services. Um, so very simply, what is Illumio? So we call our platform the Adaptive Security Platform with a big focus on that A and Adaptive. And it is a software platform, and it has two key components, and we're going to dive into this, obviously, a lot during the course of the day. The first one is a piece of software that lives in the host that we call the virtual enforcement node. Um, we designed this way because if you're going to have distributed control and visibility of computing, you have to be as close to the data as possible. Without it, you can do some interesting Petrix, but it's very hard, particularly as those hosts start to move around and as technologies like containers start to spin up, which may have a six second life, the concept of having to traffic steer them is very complex and very difficult to do. Or more importantly, if I don't own my infrastructure, if I'm operating in Azure or Amazon, I have even less control of the infrastructure. So what the VEN does, it provides a kind of an inspection function. It sits in the host, in the guest, and it understands everything that is operating and communicating on those hosts. It paints a giant um, graph that we call the relationship graph, and Illumio is built on graph theory, um, of everything going on in your environment. Uh, the marketing folks around here would say we give you an MRI. But what we really give you is an application dependency map, not only of the things that we sit on, but the things that are communicating. So you may have other objects, like storage file systems, that also communicate to those applications. Well, we can't put an agent on those. We can see and manage the communications between them. From there, uh, that goes into our policy compute engine. Think about that as the central brain for Lumio. And I like to say that 
the policy compute engine is probably closer to the Google search engine, or even more importantly, the page rank engine inside of Google than it is a firewall because it is painting that topology and monitoring any changes. It's there that we write security policies, segmentation policies, we're gonna spend a lot of time on that, or encryption policies, and push that back down to the VEN. And something that's a key design element of Illumio is we made the choice to instrument what's native in the compute layer rather than introduce any other forms of physical or virtual infrastructure to perform these functions. And as we go through this, you guys will have a very easy picture of that. So we then instrument a security policy, and we're going to spend a lot of time on the policy model, to the VEN, which then programs IP tables in Linux or uh, Windows um, uh, filtering platform in Windows. We also program some other devices, including the F5 load balancer and firewall. And over time, you'll hear announcements about other things that we program. So what we're doing is managing that relationship graph. And I'll say a very summary because it's gonna be a much bigger dive and you guys are gonna have questions we're gonna go through that. The key element is anytime any of that changes, Illumio takes action. If something spins up, spins down, or moves, do we permit it or do we deny it? If a piece of malware gets on a workload and so tries to port scan or communicate to something it's not allowed to under policy, Illumio will block it or take further action such as quarantine. Three key services in Illumio. Uh, the first one uh, is called Illumination, a little tongue in cheek, which is where we actually paint that graph. And we're gonna work from that screen. Matt's gonna spend a lot of time. It's a great way to illustrate it. Um, our corner innovation there was to have visibility both for the services and processes on the host, as well as the intercommunications, the connection state. So we manage, 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 manage and monitor the traffic flows, but also understand what's on that host. And that's very, very important to be able to do that. The second one is enforcement. Um, think about that as a stateful firewall, layer three, layer four firewall that runs on every host. Uh, and so that gives us that very finite control. And then the last one is uh, something we call Secure Connect. So one of the other capabilities available that we took advantage of is the strong swan and uh, open swan and the IPsec platform that Microsoft um, server provides to be able to do any to any um, encryption, IPsec encryption between any two workloads with a click of a button. So if you have one mental model um, through the course of the next couple of hours that we spend together about Illumio, think about a distributed system that is managing communications, connection state, and roles and responsibilities of the components of application and does it in a distributed way where you never need to know the IP addresses or where those components are running because the central brain of the system will take advantage of that. Very quickly, we're gonna spend more time on this during the course of the day. These are the key ways that people use Illumio. Live traffic visibility in illumination, seeing what is going on in your environment in real time. Uh, and by the way, these are our terms, right? Ring fencing high value apps. I have an Hadoop cluster sitting in the middle of my data center. I don't want it to talk to anything else, even though it's sitting in proximity to, a, um, to an HR application. Secure application migration. Um, I'm moving an application from my data center to the cloud, or I've acquired a company, and I'm moving the entire company's computing into my data center. How do I do that? And that we'll spend some time on that. Environmental separation, probably the most common use case for Illumio um, in our three and a half years of, uh, since we started the company. I don't want anything in dev to talk to anything in prod. Why? Because dev is a fairly open, loose environment for most people, and prod's very serious. And we, and, and Matt, will, Matt will show you some of this, we run into customers all the time that have literally hundreds of thousands of servers or workloads, and they don't know that hundreds of workloads in that list can talk to things in prod makes the CISO's hair stand up. Um, it's a great entry tool for us. Um, securing hybrid infrastructure environments. Um, hybrid infrastructure for us can mean bare metal to VM or VM to container, or it can mean your data center to Amazon or Azure or Rackspace or Google Compute Engine. Being able to stretch across that, because that's what people want to do. They want to pick the compute environment for the applications. Um, I have this little phrase that for the last 25 years, the applications fit the infrastructure, right? Intel built a chip, Microsoft filled it up 30 years ago. We're now in an inverted scenario. The infrastructure now has to chase the application. Um, I've got a 10 minute build process for a huge piece of software. I wanna spin it up and take it back down. So this is just at a very high level a view of what Illumio is doing. And we're gonna dive into this during the course of the day. And please, you know, we're really looking forward to your questions. And uh, I hope we have fun with it. So thanks.